Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to make a quality skin in Scandi Pro using the front facing camera and why it is exactly that you have to use the front facing camera when making scans in Scandi Pro. So the reason why Scandi Pro is only functional on the iPhone X onward and the iPad Pro is because these devices have a true depth sensor in the front facing camera. This is also why scans can only be captured with the front facing camera because the backside does not have the true depth sensor quite yet. For those interested, I'll attach a link to this video that explains more about the true depth camera and how it works. So now I'm going to do a little demo of creating a scan in Scandi Pro. So just remember, hold your phone straight and keep it as still as steady as possible as you slowly move the camera around the object you are scanning. Patience is key. It might take a bit of time to get the hang of it, but it'll be worth it once you get a nice scan. So today I'm going to try to make a scan of this cute bear, and I'll use two different methods to show you guys. So now that I have my little bear on the table, I'm going to set up my scanner in Scandi Pro and then slowly move the phone around the bear trying to get the whole surface of the bear the front and back of it it gets a little bit more tricky around the back which is where the next method comes in handy to help get a bit more of an accurate scan <laughs> In part two, I'll quickly go through Scandi's mirror mode feature and how that might help in creating a scan. So for this method, you'll need access to two iPhones, one with the true depth camera and one can be any kind of iPhone. With Scandi Pro open on both phones, click the Wi-Fi button on both and then select mirror mode on the iPhone that you'll be using as the mirror and scanner mode for the iPhone that you'll be using as a scanner. From here you can follow the same process but I find it to be easier as you'll be able to see the angles that would be more difficult to tell what exactly is going on in the scan. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Please comment with any questions. Thanks for watching.